Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim University of the Mom Dean Shop of E-Learning and Distance Learning College of Applied Studies and Community Service This is the English course again and my name is Mazen Kabriti I'm back to you with the English course Today we will start with lecture 5 but before we start let me have a quick look at what we did in the first week because now we are at the beginning of the second week in the first week we started with an introduction an introduction about the basics uh, we talked about the important basics that we need in unit one and also the basics that we need in this book in general we also started with unit one we talked about how to talk about yourself how to ask the new friends when you meet new people and other people for example classmates friends neighbors and so on and today inshallah we will continue with unit one uh, maybe you are asking yourselves about the homework and discussions inshallah after we finish unit one uh, I might add the homework to blackboard so you'll be able to start working on the first homework inshallah بعد النهاية من الوحدة الأولى التي سنكملها في هذه المحاضرة إن شاء الله سأقوم بإضافة الواجب الأول على برنامج البلاك بورد على الموقع على الإنترنت لتكونوا قادرين على إتمام الواجب الأول لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية and then inshallah we'll have the discussions also I might add uh, one question for discussions and then after eight inshallah we'll continue with the rest of the homework okay now before we start really with the unit I received a question from one of your classmates uh, I had a question from one of your classmates asking me about one point uh, let's, let's go to this okay before we start we have an exercise before I go to the question we have an exercise exercise that reminds us about the uh, first thing that we did in unit one the first thing was talking about yourself about you how uh, the things that we are, are talk about when you talk about yourself when you, t you talk about your home family school and what you do during your free time and the things uh, are here we have this questions this is the question you have to classify those words into those of three fields يجب تقسيم هذه الأشياء في هذه الأعمدة الثلاثة حسب العنوان في كل عمود for example we have home and family all the words we have three words related to home and family we have three words also related to school and the other three words, the rest of the words that are related to free time okay so if we go to the box we have a box with nine words we have a class fun shopping only child TV college major neighborhood and parents so think about all these words which goes where in which field any you can تصنيف كل من هذه الكلمات في الصندوق okay let's start with the first one class of course class if you think about it class classroom lessons school so it goes in the school field okay in this column okay this is the first word the second word fun what do you do to have fun for example uh, maybe you play football you watch TV and so on so the first one fun you do it during free time so fun is here in this column free time the next word shopping do you do shopping at home maybe we do it with our family we do shopping we go shopping with our family do you go shopping at home no do you go shopping at school no again another no we go shopping during our free time the next word only child we talk about only child child related of course to family 
TV. When do you watch TV? Of course, we don't watch TV at school. We watch it at home with the family, of course. But when do we watch TV? We watch it during free time. During free time. This is an activity that we do during free time. نشاط نقوم به في حالة أو أو أثناء وقت الفراغ. The next word that we have college. You are studying at the College of Applied Studies and Community Service, so it goes under school, of course. The next word major. So your major, for example, my major is English. So major it means what are you studying? The field of your study. So major goes under school. The thing that you study, the subject that you study. The next word, neighborhood. Neighborhood, we said something related to neighbors. Neighborhood, the place where you live. So it's related to home and family. It goes under this column, home and family. And the last word, of course, parents. Because this is the only space that we have parents. It means your father and your mother. Your father and your mother. This is just to remind you about those things that we talked about last time about you those are the words related to groups so each group uh, presents each group presents a topic the first one home and family the second one school and the last one free time this is a very easy exercise now we can go to the next exercise in this exercise we have scrambled words Scrambled words, it means words that are not in the right order. So what you have to do, you have to put them in the right order. So you have to unscramble them, to reorder them to be in the right order. If you remember yeah, last time you talked about questions, how, how to form questions. What word goes first, what word goes second, and so on. So if we have a look at number one, we have name what's or what is first your and don't forget the question mark at the end so if we read the first one what's the wh word a plus verb be plus your first name what are we asking about the thing that we are asking about the subject so your first name we are asking about your first name his first name or, or anything else so what's your first name what's your nationality and so on so the first one is an example now I need you to think about the second one take your time read all the words in number two try to reorganize or put the words in the right order so let's read the words let's have a look at them full time A do have you job so it's a question first of all we have a question mark here what word comes at the first place ما هي الكلمة التي تأتي في بداية السؤال think about it so ما هي كلمة السؤال هنا if we think do we have a wh word هل عندنا كلمة تبدأ ب wh Let's have a look. No. So it's not a WH question. It's not an information question. Let's have a look. Do we have a verb be here? Al yujad fi'il kawn. Full time. Do you have you job? No. We don't have verb be. Do we have do or does? Yes, we do have. We do. So here we have do. So do comes in the first place. Do. Okay. So what is what comes after do after do do I'm asking you do you okay do you and we said we use do then the subject then the main verb do because because do is the auxiliary verb نبدأ بالفعل المساعد do then we have the subject then we have the main verb الفعل الرئيسي so do we have another verb here? 
full time is not a verb, a is not a verb, you is not a verb, job is not a verb, so have. So, do you have, okay, after that, we still have three words, a ah, full time job. So, a full time job is the rest of the question. So, so do you have a full time job? This is the question, this is the answer for this one. Number three. Let's have a look at number three of the words. Live. Best friend does your nearby. Okay, again, it's a question, so let's look for uh, question words. WH words, if we have a look, no WH words, no verb be. We have does. So we start with does. Does, the subject is, where is the subject? If you look at the subject nearby, no. Live, no, it's a main verb. So, we still have best friend. Does best friend? Mm, it doesn't work. Does your best friend? I'm asking about your best friend. صديقك المقرب أو أقرب صديق لديك. Does your best friend? This is the subject. نبدأ بالفعل المساعد. Does the subject your best friend? Then the main verb, which is live. The only uh, other verb that we have here. Does your best friend live nearby? Nearby it means near. It means in the area around you. في بالقرب من هنا. So does your best friend live nearby? So does your best friend live nearby? This is the question in the right order. Number four. We have weekends. What do on you do so let's analyze the words so we have a wh word okay we have two do's okay so we have one auxil auxiliary and one is a main verb so we start with what what we said after what if we have a main verb and auxiliary we use auxiliary verb so what do after that the subject which is you what do you again we use the main verb what do you do we still have two words weekends and on on is a preposition and preposition comes before the noun so what do you do on weekends let's see if this is the right answer yes so what do you do on weekends this is the right answer the last one, the last scrambled question, we have where WH word, you, for fun, go and do. We start with the WH word because we have one where the auxiliary verb do, the subject you, the main verb is go, and the rest for fun. So where do you go for fun? So this is the question. Let's see if it is right. Where do you go to for fun? Where do you go for fun? So this is the answer for this question. I hope you understood all the answers for this exercise because it's very important. Okay. Now if we go to the next uh, slide. Next uh, slide. We have here in the next slide the question that one of your classmates sent me. السؤال الذي أرسلته أحد زميلاتكم. She asked me about the articles. It seems that I forgot to explain the last point. يبدو أني نسيت التحدث عن آخر نقطة. وهذا بفضل أحد زميلاتكم ذكرتني بهذه النقطة. The last point in articles. We talked about them in the first lecture. تحدثنا عن عن موضوع أدوات التعريف والتنكير في المحاضرة الأولى ولكن نسيت أحد النقاط وهي النقطة الأخيرة. Okay, let's have a quick look on articles. We said articles. Those are indefinite articles a or an. We use a with singular noun beginning with a consonant. We use it also with a singular noun beginning with a consonant sound, whether it is a letter or a sound. And here we use an with a singular noun beginning with a vowel. We also use an 
another useful and with nouns starting with a silent H of course singular nouns Asma Mufrada Tabda Harf H Samit Silent Samit Okay here we don't say hour we say hour so an hour so the first sound is a vowel al sawt al awwal that we pronounce alladhi nalfuzu huwa a a an awa an awa so we add an to the uh, before the noun another example we can say honest honest is an adjective but we if, if we add the uh, uh, noun after it we say an honest man and then a kilmit honest honest which you pronounced H O N E S T honest هي صفة ولكن إذا قمنا بإضافة اسم بعدها بعدها نقوم بإضافة أن قبلها أن honest man أن honest man رجل صادق أن honest man so because the H again is silent we added A and uh, not a n because the h is silent h is consonant but we don't pronounce it it's silent that's why we follow the sound نقوم بالاتكال على الصوت هنا في هذه الحالة okay now we can go we can continue and go back to unit 1 to continue talking about unit 1 and the rest of this unit Okay, what we did last time was lesson A. This is the second part of unit 1, lesson B. The title of this lesson, Things in Common. Things in Common. So, we will explain the meaning of this phrase. But first, we have to talk about the obje lesson's objectives. Ahdaf hadha dars. Give responses with to and either to and either how to respond using to and either كيفيت الاستجابة إلى جملة معينة إلى سؤال معينة باستخدام to and either those two words so though, though this is the beginning of the uh, of this lesson lesson B now if we start the lesson what does it mean things in common things in common so to have something in common with someone else what does it mean to have the same interests or opinions as someone else so to share something to have the same ideas to have the same uh, things that you like to have the, the same favorite hobbies so you have something in common to make it clear let's have a nice example very uh, good example those two guys I'm sure that you know them we have here uh, Ronaldo and Messi and Messi here looks very cute I'm sure that we can find a lot of differences between those two pictures okay but the what we need to do to f we need to find something in common شيء مشترك okay so if we think about it Ronaldo and Messi have something in common something that they share شيء مشترك so both both we can say both كلاهما are great football players so this is the, some, uh, the thing that they have in common شيء مشترك بين شخصين okay so this is the meaning of things in common so you might, uh, might have interests, opinions, ideas, hobbies, skills, and so on. Yeah, you can have different things. You can have different things. You can have different things. You can You can have things. You can have let's go to the next page now before we start with the real lesson we should learn some new vocabulary now I'll show you some words a group of words with the definitions definitions means uh, 
أو التعريف الكلمات أو شرح معانيها. Okay, vocabulary. First horse. Horse, you know, a large animal with four legs, which people ride or on. They ride on, so we go horse riding. So people ride on or use for carrying things or pulling vehicles. So يستخدمون الناس للركوب أو يستخدمون لحمل الأشياء أو سحب المركبات أو العربات. Vehicles. Vehicle means عربة أو مركبة. The next word. Big is the opposite of a small. I'm sure that you know this word. Larger size or amount. Scary, frightening, scary. So it means مرعب or مخيف. Scary. Guess if I say I have something in my hand. Can you guess what's inside my hand? So you have to give an answer. But you don't know the answer. You have to guess. So this is guessing. So to give an answer to a particular question, to what I asked you, when you do not have all the facts, and the malla tamlikun jami al haqaiq, and so cannot be certain. لا يمكن أن تكونوا متأكدين certain if you are correct. The next word allergic. I'm sure this is a new word for you. كلمة جديدة. Maybe you haven't heard of it. Having a strong dislike of something. Allergic is maybe you can call uh, this is an adjective for of course, but the origin if we go back allergy is a noun. Al ism in هذه الصفة allergy, which means حساسية. Allergic it means I hate something. عندي حساسية ضد شيء so I hate it. I don't like it. So this is where it comes from. The next word, shopping, the activity of buying things for shops from shops. When you go to the mall, you go shopping. The next word, afford. If you can't afford to buy something, of or you if you can't afford to buy something, you have the money to do to do so. So the, to be able. To buy or do something because you have enough money or time. Most of the time we use it with money. If you can't afford to buy something, so you have enough money to do to do so. عندك الإمكانية لشراء شيء. يمكن تحمل نفقات شراء شيء. So we c we use afford this word. The next word broke. Broke it means without money. Without. Money. If you have no money, we say I'm broke. Broke is the past form of a break. Here, al-fil al-madi min break. Yaksur. So broke, maksur or muflis. So without money. Now, in order to memorize or to understand those words, we need to use them in a little exercise. So let's go to the next page to see the exercise that we need in order to understand those words uh, in a good way. علينا تطبيق هذه المفردات على أحد التمارين so we can understand them more لفهمها بشكل أكبر. Okay, let's go. Complete the following sentences with the words from the box. So those are the words. So you can. See them before you can use them. Again, horse, big, scary, gas, allergic, shopping, afford, and broke. The were sentences. Let me show you the sentences. So, those are the sentences. Eight sentences, and we have eight words. So we have to use all the words in those sentences to complete them. So let's read all the sentences. Then we can decide. Which word goes in which space? Number one, I need a new car, but I can't space to buy a new one. Number two, Ahmed's house. Ahmed's house. This is possessive s, s al mulkia. So this is the, uh, this this is the house of Ahmed. Or this house is for Ahmed. Menzel Ahmed is very space. It's not small at all. Number three, I'm going. Uh, there's a space here this afternoon. Do you need anything from the mall? 
okay think about it number four I'm an animal lover I like animals I like all animals and especially the okay it should be a kind of animal number five my uncle has no money he doesn't have money he is completely number six there is something nice inside this box can you think about this again what it is number seven I could not I couldn't sleep or I could not sleep that night when I watched that space movie number eight the last one my father is to sports he doesn't watch football matches okay let's go back to the first one I hope you got some answers read it quickly number one put an answer in your mind have an answer in your mind and let me show you the answer I need a new car but I can't afford to buy a new one it means I don't have enough money to buy a new, a new one ليس لدي المال الكافي لشراء سيارة جديدة أو ليس بإمكاني ليست عندي الإمكانية لشراء سيارة جديدة أحمد هاو أحمد's house is very it's not small so what's the opposite of small big so the answer big number three I'm going this afternoon do you need anything from the mall so mall if you go to the mall you do what you go shopping I'm going shopping this afternoon number four I am an animal lover I like all animals and especially وعلى وجه الخصوص the horse okay this is one of the animals number five my uncle has no money if you have no money it means you are broke no money number six is there is something nice inside this box this box has something inside can you think about what's inside can you guess what's inside I couldn't sleep that night when I watched so why you couldn't sleep because that movie was very scary I was very afraid to sleep so that why I couldn't sleep number eight my father is we still have one word he doesn't watch football matches it means so it means he doesn't like sports so it means he's allergic to sports he doesn't like it at all okay the end of this exercise it means that we are ready to start with the actual lesson we have all the vocabulary ready and then so we can go to the lesson okay let's have a look at this picture we have a conversation between two guys if you can see those two guys in the picture one in the blue shirt and the other one is wearing a red jacket okay a this is the first person speaking horses okay this is one horse but he is talking about horses in general uh, horses are so big and they are really scary I'm just not a horse lover I guess here I guess has another meaning mungkin guess tahmil akthar min ma'na I guess here it means I think I guess so the other person now person number two well I'm not either so I'm not either it means I'm allergic to horses it means I am not a horse lover so uh, when you say I'm not either it means I'm not a horse lover okay so the same idea they have something in common so the question here what do those people those two people have in common actually they have two things in common so if you read this conversation again and try to find the things in common that they have okay let's check the first one I hope you got uh, some answer 
The first one, they are not horse lovers. They don't like horses. So this is the first thing that they have in common. The th second thing, they are allergic to horses. They are allergic to horses. So y both sentences have the same meaning. كلا الجملتين تحمل تحملان نفس المعنى but in different words بكلمات مختلفة. So again they are not horse lovers they are allergic to horses so how do you know that the second person shares the same uh, idea he said I'm not either it means I'm not a horse lover the next page we have an uh, another conversation here again with between two guys uh, they are talking here about as you can see beside them or behi behind them we have TV okay so let's go to the conversation I don't watch much television I don't watch television a lot I don't spend a lot of time watching television no I don't either it means I don't watch much television so they have something in common here I mean I watch a bro football so this guy only watches bro football uh, bro it means professional professional means احترافي كرة القدم الاحترافية football yeah I do too but that's about it that's everything okay I don't watch anything else only football only bro football so the question what do those people have in common the things that they have in common again two things they don't watch much television they don't watch television a lot this is the first thing that they have in common number two they watch bro soccer so if you ask me soccer football two different words actually in uh, UK we use football Th to talk about كرة القدم الحديث عن كرة القدم in the UK uh, في المملكة المتحدة we use football but in uh, the United States English we use soccer to talk about كرة القدم so soccer means football but soccer used in United States and Canada تستخدم في الولايات المتحدة وكندا so because football they use it for something else they use football to, to talk about rugby يستخدمون كرة القدم للحديث عن كرة القدم الأمريكية أو الرقبي so again football in the UK soccer in the United States so they have two things in common again they don't watch much television they only watch bro soccer professional soccer this is that way uh, what they have in common the next slide again a conversation between two girls or two ladies they are doing what they are shopping so the first lady here on the left hand side she says I love shopping I can shop for hours uh, without stopping so too bad I cannot or I can't afford anything new I can't afford anything new if you go back to the vocabulary to the, the new words it means I don't have enough money to buy new uh, anything new anything new it means uh, clothes shoes or other things that you can shop for so I know I can't either so the second person is saying I can't afford to buy anything new so they have something in common here I am broke so the same lady is saying I don't have money I'm broke yeah I am too it means I am broke too I don't have money so here the question comes what do those people have in common again two things the first one they can't afford anything new they don't have money or they don't have enough money to buy anything new the other thing that they have in common 
they are broke they don't have money so those are the two things that they have in common okay so now if we go to the next slide the next page we have to convert the sentences that we have what does it mean convert if we have two things to find the similarities and differences so this is called convert مقارنة. so convert the following sentences the first sentence I am broke the second sentence I watch bro soccer the third sentence I can buy used uh, clothes used uh, clothes it means second hand clothes clothes that somebody else somebody else used it used the, those clothes before me Malabis Mustamala so I can buy used the clothes because I don't have enough money so have a look at those uh, three sentences <coughs> what do you think if you compare those uh, three sentences I am broke I watch a bro soccer I can buy used the clothes the first thing that you note أول شيء تلاحظون is that all three sentences are affirmative they are positive في حالة الإثبات all of them so if you go to the first sentence I'm broke it's affirmative I watch a bro soccer again affirmative the third one I can buy use the clothes so all of them are affirmative the first one with verb be um, this is verb be the second one main verb the third one using can model verb okay let's see the responses if we have a conversation when you say something the other person responds عندما يكون عندنا محادثة كل جملة أو كل كلام أو كل تعبير يجد له مقابل أو رد response ok so I'm broke I am too if you have this thing in common if you want I am broke so if two guys uh, are broke شخصين عندهم الشيء ذاته so here we have I am broke I am too so they have this thing in common both of them are broke the second one I watch bro soccer I do too I do too so keep this in mind we used here do I do too it means I watch bro soccer too I also have this thing I like watching uh, bro soccer the last sentence I can buy use the clothes the response here I can too so here we use the same verb I can to the same model verb so keep those sentences in your mind because we'll go back to them let's go to the next slide okay in this slide also we have to compare other sentences something different let's see the first sentence I'm not an animal lover I don't watch much television number three I can I can't or I cannot afford anything new so if you have a quick look at those three sentences look at number one number two and number three what can you notice about these th three sentences if you can bear them you can say that all of these sentences are negative all of them are negative as you can see here I'm not an animal lover I don't or I do not watch much television number three I can't or I cannot afford anything new so here the difference between those three sentences and the sentences that we talked about before is that they are in negative form so let's see the responses to those sentences the first one 
has the B, the second one do, the third one uh, here the second one is do not, this is the negative form, then we have the main verb watch number three we have can which is a modal verb the, th the first response, the response to the first sentence I am not either so it means I am not an animal lover so both people, both uh, uh, guys or both uh, speakers have this thing in common so here we use the same structure I'm not I'm not so the same negative form but we added either here keep that in mind I don't watch much television so here we keep we kept the same structure I don't or I do not either again number three I can't afford anything new again we kept the same structure I can't either so if you compare those three responses you can have something in your mind من الممكن الوصول إلى قاعدة خاصة بالاستخدام to and either بمقارنة هذه الجمل but now we can go to the grammar box يمكن الذهاب لمناقشة القواعد بشكل معمق أكثر but before we go to discuss the grammar let's have an exercise let's see if you can do the exercise without going back to the uh, uh, the grammar let's see if you can do it without learning the grammar the question is can you complete the answers are you able can you do this use the conversation above to help you so you can go back to the conversation before to help you do this uh, exercise so I'm not a football fan I'm not either this is an example so here we kept the same structure I love shopping this is an affirmative sentence I okay so you s should think about this one if you can't compare it with the previous uh, uh, sentences the previous conversation uh, maybe number two I love shopping I do too. This is the answer. I can't ride horses. I can't. So the answer is I can't either. So if you don't know how we uh, got those answers, إلى إذا لم تستطيع التوصل إلى كيفية الوصول إلى هذه الأجوبة, you can go and. Watch me in the next page. On this page, we will discuss the grammar. How to respond using to and either. In this grammar box, we have the details for how to respond using to and either. So, responses you with to and either. When to use to and when to use either. What is the structure of the sentence and how to respond. So, Let's have a look at the first one. I am allergic to cats. I am too. I am not an animal lover. I am not either. So here we have verb B. One is affirmative, one is negative. In the second column we have I watch a bro football. I do too. I don't watch much television. I don't either. So here we have a main verb watch again watch one is affirmative one is negative the next one I can shop for hours I can too I can't afford anything new so here we have the model ver uh, the model verb can so I can't either again the first sentence is affirmative the second one is negative so, uh, if we go to discuss the grammar, statements with um or statements with verb be. الجمل التي نستخدم معها فعل الكون. Affirmative 
in the case of affirmative حالة الإثبات the answer or the response الإجابة أو الاستجابة we use I am to so we use the subject I then the verb be am then we use to this is in the case of affirmative في حالة الجمل المثبتة I am allergic to cats I am to so this sentence has the verb be and the answer or the response is using verb be when we have negative sentence or negative statement negative statement and we have a verb be like here I am not an animal lover so the response should be like this I'm not so not after the verb be I'm not either so we use either with negative in the negative form if we continue statements with verbs other than be if we have main verbs and which is which uh, are those verbs are not verb be they are not modal verbs they are so not can not am um, is are so what will you do for example those two sentences I watch pro football I don't watch much television in the case of affirmative statement we use I do to so again to in the case of affirmative and here affirmative we use to نستخدم to في حال الإثبات always if we have a, an, a negative sentence we use I don't either so here again we follow the same structure نتبع نفس البنية الجملة في حالة النفي and we say I don't either so again either is used in the negative form في حالة النفي so but here you have to notice that we replaced here do with what so in the case when we don't have verb be we don't have can and in the Malay كون عندنا فعل كون أو المودل verb can we use do instead عوضا عن instead of the main verb so the last case statements with the verb can when we have this verb can in specific the response should be I can to there is a mistake here I can to not I am to I can to so you have to correct it I'll correct it when I add it to the content uh, so I can to so we follow the same structure and we add to in the case of negative in the negative form again another mistake I can't either so we follow the same structure and we add either so again either is used in the negative form I hope the grammar for uh, using those responses the grammar is clear it's not very difficult you have you have only three cases verb be main verb or can in the case of verb be we use the same verb affirmative to negative either in the case of main verb we replace watch or uh, play or write or go we replace the main verb with do okay so we have a note here at the end of the box people also respond with me too or me neither so in the case of affirmative you can also use me too so here I am allergic to cats me too I watch bro football me too I can shop for hours me too in the case of negative we can use me neither or me either يمكن استخدام هذتين العبارتين in spoken language في المحادثات في اللغة المحكية most of the time so I am not an animal lover me neither I don't watch much television me neither I can't afford anything new me neither so me neither it means ولا حتى أنا ولا أنا so you can use me neither or me either for negative في حالات أن في نستخدم me neither or me either 
في حالات الجمل المثبتة we use me to but concentrate on those I am too I am not either I do too I don't either I can too I can can't either because those are the uh, formal language اللغة الرسمية what we use in writing ما نستخدمه في الكتابة الأكاديمية those me too and me either me neither and uh, me either we use it most of the time in spoken language في اللغة المحكية في in movies you can see it in movies in uh, shows on TV and so on in conversation in conversation as I said people actually say me neither more often that me neither so me either is more is used more استخدام ميني إذا أكثر من استخدام ميني إذا so في المحادثات تستخدم ميني إذا مي إذا أكثر من مي نيذا so it's more common استخدامه شائع أكثر بين الناس okay it's more common مي إذا is more common than مي نيذا okay this is just a note that you need to know Okay, so what we have to do now after we learn the grammar, yes, we have to do some exercises. The exercises now are on this page. Respond to these statements using to or either. Then practice with a partner. Here we don't have partners, so you can practice it with yourself. Okay, we have now the sentences. And the first one is done as an example for you. Number one, I watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of TV. So, here, as we said, if we go back to the grammar, if you remember the grammar box, here, let's see. I watch a lot of TV. The sentence, is it affirmative or negative? It's affirmative. Is there a verb be here? No verb be. Is there the verb can here? No. So, it's a main verb. So, we replace it with do. And because it's affirmative, we use to. So, I do to. Okay, we still have five more sentences. Let's read them. Then I can give you time to pause the video and do the answers. I'm allergic to some foods. I can't afford a new car. I am not a sports fan. I don't have a pet. Pet means an animal that you can bring it home and keep it at home. Hewan Arif. Number six, I can shop all day. So, those are the sentences. Now, now you can pause the video. You can stop the video. You can stop the video for one minute. You can answer those sentences, then you can resume the video and check the answers. Okay, now you can stop and answer, do the, respo the responses for those sentences. Okay, now we are back. I hope you have got the answers. Number two, I'm allergic to some foods. First question, is this sentence an affirmative or a negative sentence the answer is it's an affirmative is there a verb be here yes we have um so the answer should be I am to we used um because we have verb be and we used to because this sentence is affirmative number three I can't afford a new car I don't have money to buy a new car so I can't afford a new car. First of all we have the verb can here. It's a negative sentence so the answer should be I can't either. So we used can't because we have can here and it's negative and we use either because it's negative. I am not a sports fan. We have verb A and it's negative, so the answer should be I am not either. 
Number five, I don't have a pet. ليس عندي حيوان أليف. So the answer should be we have main verb which is have and it's in the negative so I don't either I don't either the last one I can't shop all day we have can and it's affirmative the sentence is affirmative so the response to this sentence is I can too so can because we, uh, the sentence has can and to because it's an affirmative statement I hope the grammar for using to and either either is clear now we can do another exercise just to make sure that you have understood this grammar exercise one exercise one which is from the uh, workbook exercise one for two or an either respond to the statements with two or either okay let's see the uh, sta uh, statements that we have here number one I am a soccer fan and I'm متابعين كرة القدم soccer we said in the United States football in the UK number two I can't stand doing the laundry I can't stand it means I don't like لا يمكنني تحمل I can't stand doing the laundry to do the laundry yes when you put your dirty clothes in the washing machine you wash them القيام بالغسيل doing the laundry number three I can't watch TV all night number four I'm not a good cook so I, I cannot cook number five I don't like shopping I hate it I dislike shopping. Number six, I love to play basketball. I love to play basketball. So, those are the words. Those are the sentences, the statements. So again, you have to consider two points. What is the verb in those sentences? And is it an affirmative or a negative sentence? So, now again you can stop the video, you can pause the video for uh, two minutes maybe then we can come back to check our answers okay now stop it and do the answers okay we're back again to check the answers for this exercise how to respond to the statements with two or either okay number one let's start with the first one I hope that you have right answers correct answers for those statements I am a soccer fan so look at the sentence we have verb B and it's affirmative so I am too number two I can't stand doing the laundry we have can this is a verb and we have the sentence is negative so I can't either or you can say in the spoken language in conversations we can say me neither number three I can't watch TV all night so can affirmative I can too number four I am not a good cook verbally negative I am not either or you can say me neither or me either number five I don't like shopping I don't like shopping so we have the main verb like and we, uh, the statement is negative so I don't either or me neither or me either the last one I love to play basketball I do too the sentence is affirmative so too and the main verb is love okay I hope all your answers are correct because this those two words are very important to and either so you have to study them and focus on them for very much okay now we are done with those two words now we can go to the next 
days to talk about something different. On this slide we will uh, work on building vocabulary how to collect more vocabulary new words new vocabulary so what you have to do a brainstorm so what does it mean to brainstorm a brain it means your mind a storm when you have severe weather bad weather we call it storm asifa so asifa inside your brain it means you have to think a lot brainstorm you have to think a lot think uh, a lot how many words can you think of for each topic make a class list so you have to make a list for each topic the first topic TV shows the programs that you can that we watch on TV we call them TV shows TV programs series or uh, uh, programs or anything else the second topic is close close as you can see here we have to close in the picture the third topic food okay talk about food all the words that you can think about food the last one weekend activities what do you do on weekend so what you have to do again in Arabic عليكم إعداد قائمة بجميع الكلمات التي ممكن أن تفكروا بها regarding those topics فيما يتعلق بهذه الموضوعات TV shows البرامج التلفزيونية الملابس الطعام وأنشطة عطلة الأسبوع so again here you can pause the video try to write as much words as you can يمكن هو إيقاف عرض المحاضرة لبضع دقائق حاولوا التفكير بجميع الكلمات التي التي تعرفوها حول هذه المواضيع make a list قوموا بإعداد قائمة then we can come back and I can show you some examples so now stop and try to collect as many words as you can okay we're back I hope you that you have enough words you have good lists you have long lists so let let me give you some examples about each topic okay the first topic TV shows okay we have lots and different kinds of TV shows let me tell you about some of them the first one cartoons cartoons or we call it animation animation like uh, Madagascar uh, Kung Fu Banda uh, the Simpsons as you can see in the picture the Simpsons this is a very famous and popular uh, series it's a TV series we have uh, lots of movies animation movies all of these are called cartoons the next example sports as you can see here in the United States it's called football or rugby okay this is a very famous sport we have also basketball football uh, tennis golf baseball and other types of sports all of them you can uh, watch in on TV the next games show what do we mean by games show okay games show uh, it's like who wants to be a millionaire when somebody goes to a TV program to win money okay so in Arabic we have uh, for example who wants to be a millionaire so it's a, this is the international version who wants to be a millionaire this is called game show or games show if you want to know about those kinds of shows in general the next type sitcoms sitcoms is uh, a short for situation comedy situation comedy so there are comedy series for example uh, two and a half men we have the Simpsons also we can call it the uh, sitcom uh, we have uh, uh, lots of examples we, uh, for example I love Lucy uh, Jim uh, John, uh, Jim uh, caught in the middle we have uh, a lot of examples about sitcoms so it means situation comedy uh, or comedy series the news 
only watch the news, all the news about the world. You can watch them on CNN, BBC, and uh, Sky News and other uh, news uh, news TV stations. The next one, soap operas. Soap operas are types of series. Soap operas here, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. It has a lo a long. Uh, uh, it's a long series, lots of episodes, al kathir min al halakat. So we have lots of events that happen in each episode, and each event affects all, uh, all the characters in the series. Here, مسلسلات التي تعتمد على الأحداث الكثيرة والشخصيات المتعددة. So the uh, those types of uh, TV shows or series we call them. Soap operas. An example, the very fa uh, the most or the very popular example or the most famous example is Desperate Housewives. This is the we can call uh, it's an example of soap operas. The next one, talk shows. Talk shows it means when uh, two people on TV they are talking. Baramij al hiwar. So the, those are another type of TV shows. Documentaries, as you can watch them, and on BBC, on uh, Al Jazeera, we have Al Jazeera documentary, Al Baramj al Wasaiqiya. So we have lots of uh, examples like Planet Earth, uh, the World War Two, World War One, and many more examples. So this is the first topic. Examples about the first topic. Now we can go to the second column to talk about the clothes. Okay, we have lots and lots of examples concerning clothes. We can say a jacket, this is a jacket, you can see a jacket in the picture. Swe a sweater, a sweater is uh, something that covers the top part of your body with long sleeves. Uh, it's uh, most, uh, most of the time you, you wear it during winter, okay? So mm, it's usually made of wool, it covers all the top of the body, so we, it's called sweater. Jeans, as you can see in the picture, we have jeans. Pants, pants is another name for trousers, pintal, trousers or pants. We have two names, trousers or pants. Suit. Suit when you have pants and jacket, pants and jacket, both of them are called suit. Badla. The next one, tie. So here is my tie. Uh, I'm wearing a tie. This is my tie. The next one, dress. A dress usually for women. Thobe or fustan. Shirt, like t shirt, or this is my shirt. So we have two words that we can use with this one, shirt, this one is shirt, while this one in the picture is called t-shirt, because the shape of this shirt is like the letter t. That's why we call it t-shirt. Skirt, especially for women, yes, it's called tanura. And the last one, blouse, it's a shirt, but for women a shirt but for women okay this is the end of the list I'm I'm sure that you have more words about the clothes we have many many other words more words about clothes but those are enough for our vocabulary list the next topic we have here food if we want to talk about food also we have hundreds of words that we can say for example we can say fruit Banana, as in the picture, pasta, macaroni or spaghetti, salad, green salad, Russian salad, and so on, milk that we can get from cows, cheese, also, it is one of milk products, eggs from chickens, fish that we can uh, fish from water, from sea vegetables like tomatoes, potatoes and so on. Okay. 
this is the end of the this topic food the last topic weekend activities what you can do on the weekend so the first one and the most popular one go to the mall you can go to the mall or going to the mall this is the first activity maybe you have another activity May maybe you go to the beach maybe you stay up late you don't sleep during the night stay up late means يبقى مستيقظا حتى وقت متأخر أو يسهر go swimming go to a swimming pool or to swim go to a soccer game maybe you can go and watch a soccer game in a stadium you can maybe you, you support one of the teams maybe we, you have something else maybe you go to the beach maybe you uh, on weekends you go and visit your family some people on weekends maybe they study they review what they have studied during the, uh, the week what they did but not all of you I'm sure not all of you do this because uh, you use the weekend to do something else to refresh to refresh your minds to relax maybe you have uh, some people to prefer to stay at home maybe you can watch a movie watch TV do whatever you do so you can add more activities to this list maybe you can do make your own list and you can so keep it with you and memorize those words so those are the vocabulary that we have for building vocabulary those are just examples maybe you have more you have your own words you have your own examples maybe you can add them to the list okay I think this is enough for today so at the end before we uh, uh, end this lecture let me go back and have a quick look about what we did in this lesson we talked about things in common what does it mean things in common again things in common when you have something the same for example when you have the same ideas the same opinions the same interests the same hobbies the same likes with somebody else okay maybe you share maybe you share something with uh, another person which is uh, for example your dislikes the things that you hate also this is something that you have in common maybe uh, uh, something that you uh, you you hate about other people so maybe something that you like so your likes or dislikes so this is what we talked about uh, for things in common the second the second thing that we talked about how to use to and e either to give responses we had examples first we learned some vocabulary before we uh, before the conversations and then we talked about the grammar we focused on grammar and we did some exercises okay by this quick review we come to the end of this lecture I hope that you have enjoyed today's lecture lecture 5 okay I'll see you inshallah in lecture 6 to continue this unit next time okay till then take care study hard and see you next time Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh